if you think you can control your emotions, our next house guest says, our next house guest, sorry, we're sitting on the couch. Our next guest says hormones are actually in charge and they affect our love lives, professional success, and overall health. Best-selling author, Dr. John Gray's new book is called Venus on Fire, Mars on Ice, Hormonal Balance, the key to life, love, and energy. We just feel so at home with you here with us on the couch. It's good to have you here. <laughs> it's a real pleasure, thank you. And of course, a lot of folks know you know that name from men are from Mars, women are from Venus. This is a little bit of a new take. That changed the way we thought about relationships, but now you're bringing something new in, turns out it's really the hormones that are at play here. Yeah, quite often you can blame it on the hormones. I mean, if a man's testosterone levels are low, he's just grumpy and irritable and he can only focus on one thing, particularly the TV, and there's no way he's going to hear his wife. So that's why they're not listening. Well, exactly. <laughs> and then there's the and then there's the the women today are feeling more overwhelmed than ever before because Fast pace or change has a bigger stress reaction in women. Mm -hmm. Their brains are wired up differently. And so under moderate stress, her brain becomes eight times more active than a man's. Wow. So her brain is spinning, thinking of all these things. And she's wondering, why is he sitting on the couch not thinking about anything? Yeah, or not doing anything. Yeah, or we not, have a million things to do on this that's list. That's right. That's right. So understanding how our hormonal balance gives us insight in what we can do to support ourselves mm -hmm. to be in a better mood and what we can do to help our partners. And there's a lot of information today about hormones, so I'm not talking about taking hormones right. or even taking natural hormones. I'm teaching people what they can do in their lives right. to stimulate the production of hormones. So the hormones that are already in our bodies that help make us who we are, how we can basically work with what we have. So just you know, highlight a little bit more for us. You started to touch on it, but so, so for men, it has to do with testosterone. For women, it's oxytocin, correct? That's right. The new research shows that oxytocin is the bonding hormone, the nurturing hormone, but it has a particular effect on women and not men. It actually lowers women's stress levels. So when a guy brings a woman a flower, he doesn't have to bring her two dozen roses, that just creates the same amount of oxytocin. But he brings her a flower, for example, there's a surge of oxytocin, her stress level starts to go down. Hmm. If he gives her a hug, if he's affectionate, if he looks her in the eye when she talks, lots of these things that men stop doing in the beginning, they do in the beginning and win right. her over, <laughs> and then they stop Once doing they it. Once they win us over, then it's no. <laughs> it's the little things that actually make a big difference, and men don't live in that world, because if you do little things for men, they really look at it as little things. It doesn't really matter much. So that's one way you can, if you're, if you're a man, you can help elevate the oxytocin yeah, well, helps levels understand. in your, in, you know, in the woman in your life, and right. then, and and then that helps bring a little bit of the romance back because women often see you know, where the romance go in the relationship. But what about for men? How do you elevate the testosterone level to, to help bring up a little bit more balance in the relationship? Well, there's two aspects to realize what rebuilds testosterone in a man. He has to work hard. If he's out of work, that's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. But if he's working hard, he runs out of testosterone. Then if he can relax, and that's what he's doing when he's sitting on the couch, is when a man relaxes his muscles. Wait, 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 because women are not going to be happy with know, this one. I know, I know, it's so, very controversial. So the sitting on the couch not <laughs> listening is recharging of the batteries? But only for a limited amount of time. Okay, but, good, then but that's this, better. But see, this is proven that the way a man rebuilds testosterone is when he can relax, and if he's sitting in front of a football game, his testosterone levels will start to go up. Then once they're up, it feels so good just to be sitting there. He doesn't move. That's where women come in. They need to move him, get him back into action, ask him to do things, but okay. to know how to ask so you're not nagging. So then how do I ask properly well, without sounding well, like I'm nagging? The first time, always, it's nice. The first time, it's not a nag. The second time, you just ask as if in the same tone of voice, and when he doesn't do it or he says, I'll get to it, you know he's going to forget, then you say, all right, I'll put it on the list. And you start having a nice little list. And now you just say, I've got the list here and you will help pull him off that couch. Okay. The next thing is you have to let go of the notion that he should automatically do these things because mm -hmm. this is the way women think. They automatically do these to things. You're supposed know these things, Sean. Come two, on. Two women, <laughs> ten women are together. One gets up to wash dishes. They all get up together. If somebody sits, everybody goes, who are you? Who do you think you are? Men don't play by those rules. One guy gets up, they go, good, it's his job. You know, we, we just don't have that, that reaction. So we need to be motivated. And women are the great motivators. And once they realize that, they can pull out the best in men. It's some, it's some great insight. It's a fascinating read. Stress also plays a really important role. And I know you talk more about that in the book. Thanks for coming by this morning. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you nice so much. Real pleasure.